Robert Indiana is an American pop artist who lives on an island in the state of Maine. He is known for his bold, simple, iconic images. He especially liked using numbers and short words. In 1964, Robert Indiana submitted Love as a Christmas card idea for the Museum of Modern Art. It became so popular that in 1973 it was put on a U.S. postage stamp. In 1970, Robert Indiana built the first Love Sculpture. Many different versions of the Loeb sculpture have been recreated and can be found in 14 different places in the United States as well as 7 places around the world. Love has also been translated into other languages including Hebrew and French which is also known as the language of love. Let's begin by folding the paper in half from side to side and then in half again from top to bottom. When it's open, you should have a plus sign. Each square will fit one letter, just like the layout of Robert Indiana's love image. Draw the word that you've decided upon. Right now, just draw it in a simple stick form. These are guidelines that will be erased later, so make sure that you draw lightly. Fill up each square with the letters. If you want, you can tilt one or more letters like the O in love. Now it's time to turn the stick letters into big block letters. Draw a contour line around each one. I like to use the sides of the squares as part of my block letters so that each one will really fill in the space. If you did this part with pencil, make sure that you trace it with a sharpie, but don't trace those stick guidelines. You can use the following fonts in your artwork, or you can create your own. Don't forget to erase those stick guidelines. Now it's time to add some color, baby, color to our artwork. Today we will be focusing on the negative space. That's the background part of each square. The letter is the positive space. For this project, let's leave the positive space white and add color to the background. Be careful though, some letters like A, B, O, P, and R have cutouts so that you can see through to the background. Those cutouts will need to have whatever color is in the negative space. Feel free to use a combination of colors like warm or cool, complementary colors, or colors that might better emphasize the meaning of your word, like reds and pinks for love. However, the only white that should be used should be in the letters. Everything in the negative space needs to be filled with color. And there's your completed Robert Indiana Love Inspired Image. Thanks for creating with me.